In this video, I'll be showing you how I made a large mahogany picture frame for my 8th grade panorama without using a table saw. The tools and materials you will need will be listed down in the description below. So I picked up these four mahogany boards from Rockler Woodworking and Hardware. And so these two pieces here are 48 inches long and these two here are 24 inches long. And the 48 inch long pieces are gonna be used for the top and bottom. And those are each 36 inches long and these two are for the sides which are 16 inches long. The next thing I needed to do was to make the rabbits for holding the inside of the backer board onto the inside of the frame. And for this I just tested the depth of the rabbit that I needed by using a scrap piece of wood from one of the cutoffs from cutting the 45 degree angles on the frame. And I had to make the full groove in two passes so that I could route one side and then move the clamps over to the other side. So I glued up the four corners here. What I did was I just ap applied glue to all of the edges and then I just laid them out and taped them together with masking tape at the corners. But I'm gonna add some more tape to reinforce it a bit and hold it all together because I don't have band clamps or corner clamps and my normal clamps are way too small for this giant frame. Although these boards were supposed to be the same thickness, this piece of wood here was a bit thicker so when I used the router, it went to the same depth as all of these, but since it was too thick and I had to sand it down to um, have these level when I screw them on, um, it made it so that this, is sh this groove here is shallower than this. So now I have to use a chisel and come back here to um, make it go to the same depth as this other one here. I already started but it's still not perfect so I'm just going to keep going at it with a chisel until the groove is the same depth all the way around. To reinforce all of the miters in the corners, I just used some metal mending plates.
With the main body of the frame completed, it's time to move on to the backer board. So I don't have a table saw and I'm trying to cut 1 8 inch thick hardboard right now. And I didn't really have that much of a good way to cut it because it would be too hard to try to support with a circular saw because it's so thin it'll, it'll be flopping around while I'm trying to cut it. And I couldn't really use a jigsaw or scroll saw because that would make a really uneven cut. So I decided to try use a miter saw and just cut it on one side then flip the board and then cut it on the other side. And then for the side that was 30 inches long, I made those two cuts and then I just finished it off with a hand saw. This is definitely not the best way to cut 1 8 inch hardboard and if you have a table saw I would definitely use that and I don't really recommend this method but this is really all I had that would work well. So I marked out where I have to glue down the picture and I just have to figure out how I'm going to glue the picture to the backer board and then I already installed the clip so that I'll be able to clip the backer board with the picture on it into the frame. Okay so I finished gluing the actual panorama picture onto the backer board which is just a piece of 8th inch hardboard and what I used was 3M Super 77 spray adhesive and all I did was I sprayed it on the back of the picture and onto the piece of hardboard waited five minutes and just stuck them together. Okay, so there's this tiny little hole here from when I over drilled on the other side. So I'm just gonna fill it with some wood glue and sawdust. Now I'm just gonna prepare this for staining by sanding it with 320 grit sandpaper to make it smooth. Six painters pyramids stopped printing so, and they're done so I'm just gonna turn this off and take them off the build plate. So if you don't know what painters pyramids are they're basically just little pyramids that hold up your workpiece so that you can stain both sides without having to wait or flip it over and smudge the other side. Cool, so I'm going to go take these and start putting the polyurethane coating onto the frame. Before I applied the polyurethane to the frame, I made sure I removed all of the extra hardware. So I removed all of the picture frame hardware, so now I'm just going to open up the polyurethane i'm gonna mix it up then i'm just gonna apply it to the back side then after i'm done with that i'm just gonna let it sit for a few minutes then i'm gonna use those painter pyramids to flip this over so that i could do the front side without the back side getting all messed up
Okay, so I just applied a total of just two coats of polyurethane because this isn't going to be um, knocked around or anything because it's just going to be sitting on the wall as a picture frame. So I only applied two coats and sanded in between them with 320 grit sandpaper. So now I'm just going to reapply all the hardware and then I'm going to install the backer board which has the um, panorama on it and then I'm just going to clip it in and it's going to be finished and I'm going to hang it on my wall. So in the video the picture frame looks kind of slanted but in real life it doesn't actually look slanted. I think that's just because I put the tripod on my bed. So that's how I made my panorama picture frame without using a table saw. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.